but it's an uninformed image outside of DC, and it can change quickly, and it will change quickly with all of these AG actions and other things if we don't take this in our own hands. If we don't define ourselves, they will define us. So, if people don't see who we are, they will define us. We have to show the value of education in jobs. That's our opportunity. We are jobs. If we don't position ourselves, they will position us. So here's the positioning. Let's turn the tables on what people view as the role of higher education by showing the true value of career colleges, what we do, jobs. I'm sure you can't read this, so I'm going to read it to you. This is six months of work, uh, a creative agency that's represented Delta coming out of bankruptcy, the cable industry, the home health industry, and other industries that have had issues similar to ours. Oh, boy. Up here, I, I'm not sure I can read it. Um, wow. So this is not, this is the positioning uh, of, of where we want to be. This is not something that you will see in an ad. This is the positioning for you, what you would see in all kinds of media going forward. And when I say all kinds of media, I mean billboards, I mean uh, uh, television, radio, social network, I mean grassroots campaigns, uh, and I mean all kinds of other items which will be rolled out, and we're going to talk about this on Sunday, uh, in a week from Sunday in Colorado. So what, what it is is the, is the basis for it, and here's what they say. This is not a which type of school is better conversation. It is not comparing traditional college with career college or providing or, or proving career college is for everyone. This is a conversation about jobs waiting to be filled, about training people for jobs that close the skills gap, 70 cent, 70 percent placement rate after graduation. This is about placing students in 17 of the 20 fastest growing fields, helping to create 1.8 million jobs by 2018, and the true benefits of Career College. Career College is focused on, on teaching people relevant skills so that when people graduate, they can start working right away. It's education that doesn't waste time. It's education that leads to jobs. It's education at work. Just to show you what one uh, sample of this might look like, there are, are 50 of different ideas here. This is, this is, I think, pretty powerful on three levels. One, it's showing the importance of the fact that we're creating jobs at a time and filling jobs when others aren't. The counter is uh, that you see in the bottom right is like, you know, the McDonald's, 1.8 billion sold. People are, are used to seeing that. That will move. That will change over time. This will be a theme throughout. And it's also labeling us as something that I'm sure will be controversial uh, with some America's career colleges, education at work. That's the research, what the research shows. Uh, don't focus too much on this one ad. It's just an example, but it is an idea of where we believe we need to go. So just to finish, uh, we can't stop uh, of fighting the brush fires. We're still going to have to do that for a while, but that alone won't get, it, get us where we need to go. Uh, if you think about where this sector can go, it can, it, it, it can go to the ceiling, and, and it's, it's, it's amazing what we can do, but we need to tell the word, world about who we are and what we do. It starts with the standards. It goes forward with an integrated campaign telling our story we still need to be tough, but we need to move forward one set of rules for all schools. Thank you very much. Now, Ron's going to come back and sing for you again. <laughs> Any questions? Wow. Yes, David.
Sure. Well, first of all, I'm on the board of uh, ABSCU. Uh, I'm on the search committee for the new CEO of ABSCU. I'm on the research committee. Uh, and I talk to Brian, uh, the acting CEO, uh, uh, quite frequently, and we work very closely. There's a weekly call between ABSCU and the coalition. The coalition was formed at a time when ABSCU alone just, just didn't have the ability to get done what we needed to do. Uh, it is a vehicle to change things. Uh, it is not an entity unto itself. It's, you know, it's not my uh, dream to run a trade association. I have plenty else to do. Uh, and it's, it's, it's just there to move the sector forward. Uh, we need to speak with one voice, and ultimately I think we will. But uh, I strongly believe that the coalition needed to step in when it did, and I think that uh, it still needs to help lead the way going forward uh, until we can change the dialogue about who we are and what we do and create the appropriate regulatory framework. Other questions? Yes, sir. I think it starts with looking really hard at the standards. Uh, I think that the, uh, the more schools that can adopt these standards, uh, especially the student readiness point, uh, you know, the, the, uh, one of the key elements of the standards is that it codifies everything and goes beyond, in certain areas, some of the existing law. But in one place, it blunts that whole silly 10, 25, 48 argument, 10, 23, 48 argument. Because the reason we are 48% of the defaults, but only 24% of the dollar defaults, are those students that come in for very short period of times, very short periods of time. They're counted in the number of student defaulting, even though it's small dollars. By having an introductory period, a delay period, uh, a, uh, an orientation period, however you want to do it, you're cutting way down on that issue. You're also completely blunting the argument that we're all about just getting money wherever we can get it and we don't care if these students succeed because we're actually taking our efforts to make sure they succeed and if not, we're not drawing any federal money. So I think that alone is probably the single most important thing we can do. Then secondly, once we have vetted fully this campaign and get everybody on board with what it is, we all need to take a percentage, whether it's 5%, 3%, 10%, we'll have to work that through, I would hope for the highest number possible of our advertising and marketing budget and put it toward sector, dialogue changing, image building, advertising, marketing, grassroots, social networking and the like. Those are the two things that are actionable. Those are the two things that I believe will change who we are. It will not happen overnight. But I think over a, a couple of year period we can make an unbelievable difference in how we are perceived. It's happened in other industries. We can do it too. Other questions? Okay. Thank you very much. Appreciate the time.